Today, President Biden will survey damage in the Northeast in the wake of Hurricane Ida. Heavy rainfall last week overwhelmed rivers and sewer systems. People on the Gulf Coast are still trying to recover. The alleged mastermind of the 9-11 terrorist attacks will be joined by four co-defendants in pre-trial court proceedings. The hearing will happen at a courtroom inside the U.S. facility in Guantanamo Bay. Texas Governor Greg Abbott expected to sign an election overhaul bill into law today. It adds new restrictions and criminal penalties to the voting process in the state. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is set to testify before a Senate committee about the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. The U.S. has drawn international criticism over the chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan. The hearing is set for September 14th. Crews are still fighting the wildfire south of Lake Tahoe. Now they are working to allow people back into parts of the resort community that remain under evacuation orders. Winds have been easing, allowing firefighters to make progress containing the flames. Actor Michael K. Williams has died at the age of 54. He was found dead by family members in his Brooklyn apartment. His death being investigated as a possible drug overdose. Williams was most known for his role on The Wire. Surge of the Delta variant is slowing the recovery for business travel here in the U.S. Delta Airlines hope business travel would be back to around 60% of pre-pandemic levels by this month, but their CEO says they'll miss that goal. NASA's Perseverance rover has collected the first Martian rock sample. It is now being stored in an airtight titanium tube, which could be collected by another Martian lander in the future. TikTok now tops YouTube when it comes to average watch time by users, but YouTube still holds the top spot for overall time spent. That's because it has more users, 2 billion compared to TikTok's 700 million. And that's today's 9 at 9.